Hey, 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 players, it's Tathias, and welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to build up a vehicle. Um, I'm building up a quad at the moment, because I love riding around in quads. I think they're awesome, And um, but basically it's to build up any vehicle solo. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you exactly what locations to get parts for a vehicle okay and as you can see the squad has just spawned here and um, basically you can find two quads at the back to the town opposite of Pinecrest if you go out of Pinecrest over the bridge through the four-way into the other town it's got a little circle in the middle there's another little um, circle with three houses um, but basically the town opposite of um, Pinecrest you can get two quads at this location where I am now and right on the opposite side of the circle um, but they won't always be there there are different spawn locations on the map which I will be covering in my um, in my next survival guide where I'll be giving you guys all the tips and tricks you need and yes just showing you there on the drum that you're going to get a drive belt and of course always go through kitchens you can never be stocked up too much on food basically guys the main problem with um, with building up a vehicle is how heavy the parts are okay you will see that you can basically just carry two heavy parts basically two tires and a jerry can or a tire and a battery so your heaviest parts are basically your tires which you can probably just carry a max of two and then of course your D your jerry cans and your battery those are your heaviest parts and um, the drive belt and the spark plugs is not a problem at all but of course you need to have that on you now I'm going to be running around here but my plan at the end of this video was basically just to build a base put my put the plot sign down for myself somewhere and then put down a small crate and if you have have the guide to put down a large crate but even with the small crate guys um, that's not a problem and yeah I'm showing you guys that the baton hits extremely fast I've killed a few people but it's just a way to get rid of a mutant quite quickly and um, yeah get out of the way but as I was saying yes um, in, instead of running yourself to death looking for parts what I would suggest is putting down a plot sign somewhere and just hiding a small um, crate inside a tree and if you want try and get a hiding spot for your big crate maybe rocks or something like that and then as you pick up the parts you can go and put them into the crates and then but the main thing is you want to put the crates or your signpost close to an area where vehicles spawn and that you can run back and forth very quickly and specifically you know quite close to those locations but still very well hidden away so areas that are good for that is Clyde Hill it's actually a very, a very good spot for vehicles and then your airfield your military base and Pinecrest and um, yeah that's a b basically your main locations Haywood is a bit dangerous and then there are there are other areas but the vehicle spawns are quite far away and if you want to know about the vehicle spawns just remember about my remember I'm bringing out my ultimate survival guide and they'll be giving you all the tips you guys need 
And yes, running around at night definitely helps you a bit. Okay, I know it's quite scary, but the big thing is you can lose people quite quickly. Okay, so even if the guy gets in the first shot, remember no one can run faster than you, which I'm not totally crazy about. I will be making a video on what I'd like to them to change in Australia to make it even more immersive but at the moment nobody can run faster than you okay so getting away at night is fairly easy because the visibility is very bad as you can see here I've, I could have I could only carry two tires I've already put two tires in there and I just fetched my next two tires the first two tires I got at the Pinecrest petrol station or the Sultan petrol station I think it was the Sultan petrol station and now I'm just putting the parts in which are difficult to find or quite rare and of course the nails I've got three nails but I'm just putting the nails in there because I'm going to get two lumber as I'm running around and then I can build a signpost now I walked into Pinecrest and what would you know my luck there was a bus here it's of course a spawn and i just checked if somebody was putting parts in and voila someone was already putting parts into the vehicle so you can see the bat the battery is quite heavy so i had to put the battery in couldn't put the tire in so i rather just took the food and yeah got an easy battery which was great just had to check is anyone following me it's normally weird that someone would leave a vehicle that they busy building up but it could be a clan which is just driving around building up different vehicles to put it inside their base so that's always an option And yes, guys, the bridge, even at night, you can still get spotted. And the bridge is very open. So, I also I always like going for a swim. Almost shat in my pants here because that shadow in front of me almost looked like a person. And I thought to myself, whoa. And then as I was looking around, I saw, no, just a fish. Relax, buddy, it's just fish. So, yes, swimming through water at night is... Um, very good and you can see the fish just jumping out of the water you guys know me I have to stop and just enjoy the immersion <laughs> quite cute and yes guys big big tip always equip your gun when you come out of water all right always make sure you've got your gun equipped you don't want to walk into another player and because you swam you don't have the weapon equipped as you can see some some parts at in at night especially when it's misty is really dark all right so like i say it would be will be easy to get away so i got the jerry can and the battery that's why i couldn't carry the and i'm just i'm just showing you i still need the spark plugs which took me quite a while to get and yes I'm just trying to, I threw down, threw down equipment here, but I'm just, just want to get my axe again, because, um, I need, I, I need to get lumber, but I forgot about the fact that you can just go to any crate and remove the lumber from the crates, so that's how I got the lumber at, in the, at the end of the day. Or did I chop a tree? <laughs> I'm not sure. But guys, if you don't want to carry an axe or you haven't got an hatchet, just go th through the lumber piles, and it will give you uh, it will give you lumber. Saw the crossbow there. When I do a serious survival guide, like a wild a wild guy, um, you know, a forest survivor, I'm definitely going to be using a crossbow going to stick to all the primitive weapons and traps that will be really fun 
I'm excited about that series where I'm just going to survive in the wild. Okay, yeah, I'm just going through the kitchen showing you guys spawn locations. I know you guys always love seeing spawn locations. Remember, food, all kinds of food spawn at the same places. All kinds of clothing spawn at the same places. All the armors and the weapons okay the weapon that you get depends on the rarity of the drop you'll get a lot of pistols you'll get a lot of shotguns but um automatic rifles you know will you won't get that a lot and of course your silences and your hand grenades and stuff like that are very very rare drops okay so if you never pick up a silencer don't get mad if you struggle to pick up an optic sight you know don't feel alone. I haven't picked up one yet. And of course, those items are very difficult to see as well. You have to be very careful with your looting. Making sure to cover every single little hook and cranny. And every drawer so that you don't miss it. As you can see, getting a pickaxe here under the bed. I got a hammer and a pickaxe and everything. And then I just thought to myself, it's a waste, buddy. Waste too much. You haven't got your crates yet, and you can craft it. I'm on my way to the gas station, and the timing was good, yeah? Always listening for things around me. There you go. So yes, always be aware of your surroundings. Never get too comfortable. You've seen what happens to me when I get too comfortable. So always be aware of your surroundings. Never assume you're in the clear. And yes, survive buddy, survive, you know. Take, Live yourself into the game, guys. Really. If I can give you one big tip, live yourself into the game. Don't go ape shit when you die, okay? Enjoy the thrill of not wanting to die. Enjoy the fact that people want to kill you as soon as they see you, okay? Enjoy the fact that you can handcuff people, that you can role play. And if you see a Bambi... Try and make friends, okay? If you want to trust people, spin that wheel, buddy. Could be a guy that just died and he's part of another clan and is, you know, is going to kill you. But if you haven't got a lot of loot and you want to make friends, go put yourself out there. See if you can make some friends, add them on Steam and jam with them, you know? Tell them you need help raiding a base. You know, you can only drive one vehicle. You need them to drive the other vehicle. Or tell them you want to build a big base. Okay? You'll chop the wood. You know? You guys can plan together how you're going to build the base. Just have fun with it, guys. Just have fun with it. So, on my long search for the spark plugs, it's going to take me all the way to... Sultan really ran my ass off on this one and again being very careful and the way I enter Sultan's gas station always through the bushes because if I hear anything or see anyone I can take cover immediately so I always go around the back someone can still hear you if they're inside the gas station but it will be very difficult for them to know which way you're coming from. And again, just always having cover, having an exit strategy. You can see I'm quiet there, always listening. You can see every time I strafe to the side, that's when I'm trying to listen for sounds. Trying to keep checking if I hear anything. And then as soon as I'm in, I rush. 
because having a torch on the time that you take to loot can be the difference between life and death as, I'm, as you see I'm using the torch to see all the parts and again I picked up the the hammer and the pickaxe now look how much time that is wasting guys planning ahead is always important I could have died here someone crouching in the gas station any time that you stand still because you haven't planned ahead are the times that you die look at most of the videos that I die I'm standing still okay yeah I'm just showing you a spawn location in the shop and save if you guys didn't know in the tools you get guns fantastic checking there those are the gun locations and yeah just doing a quick sweep and of course your shop and saves are great for food and your garages the back compartment is always great for vehicle parts and of course your factories but in my personal experience I feel a garage's back room the garage's storeroom at the back has helped me the most okay and then gas stations overall give you quite a bit of tires the the fire station in Pinecrest also gives you tires you can see where I'm coming from with trying to build your base or put your signpost close to Pinecrest And again, wasting time because I didn't plan ahead with my inventory. Always be aware of your weight, guys. If you go into a shop, that's the mistake I'm making now. I'm going into shop and save. I know I'm going to pick up stuff, but I don't check my weight. I don't check my space. Now I'm standing in shop and save trying to sort out my loot. So even with all my experience, I still make critical errors. But that's why I'm telling you guys now. Focus on it. Yeah, I'm going to show you about the lumber. There you see. I picked up two lumber. Picked up lumber at the bottom and I picked up lumber at the top. That's why it wasn't necessary to have the equipment on me. So there I know, I've got the two lumber. And of course, I threw away my nails. So I've got the nails in the crate, in the bike. So that's fine. Another weapon location. I must say, guys, these days it's, go it's going to be really easy to make your base really look smart because the amount of parts for bases that are intense and so forth, the spawns are a lot. Okay, so you guys can really make a really nice base. Yeah, second sweep. Remember, things don't spawn when you stay in that location, so always go away from the location. Keep yourself busy with something else, and then come back. If you're lucky enough, somebody else hasn't looted it yet. And, of course, Salton and Woodhaven isn't a very popular area anymore. Pinecrest, Brightmoor, Hayward, those are basically your dangerous areas. That's why I lo love focusing on... Salton. And it's close to everything. Just see a stove pack. Always a nice place to start. Spark plugs, drive belt. 
battery, another drive belt, electrical parts, a scarf, a balaclava. What did I guess? Like I said, guys, the storeroom in garages are great places. Now remember, you can always go back to them, guys. You can always go back to them. And again, extra truth is the safest one. making a turn at the Sultan Cave. Always love just peeking in here. You never know. I've gotten various items here. It's like a lucky packet. And I mean, who doesn't love a lucky packet, guys? You know? Of course, if you stand in front of Sultan's church and you go past the church, over the directly you know to the back of the church over the river you'll get the cave quite easily and just check this i haven't got space but check this box is empty no space for a car battery no space for a car battery can you believe it guys you can get a car battery in a crate magical but don't think you're just gonna go search a crate and get a battery as you know I've been searching a lot of stuff it's again a lucky packet a lot of them are gonna be empty and of course Enjoying the scenery and a nice swim in the morning, it's always great. Nice peace and quiet, you know, if you're getting tired of running around. Breaks the tenacity of things. And again, like as you can see, always ripping out my gun as soon as I get out of the water make that a habit guys it will save your life trust me and we're back and we're done so guys I hope that helped you and if you've got any other questions on building up vehicles let me know and of course what's fantastic is a vehicle has got 10 slots inside it so you can even store things in there okay so you put down your plot sign you put down your small crate your large crate and you stash your vehicle away in a bush or something if you don't want to build it closed or you build it closed but you've got your small stash your your large crate and your vehicles and of course tents if you pick up tents you can use tents as well so here you can see what my plan was i'm going to build my plot sign now I don't want to lose the vehicle I don't want to lose the shit I picked up so I want to go get a secure area now you're organizing your loot like a pro <sighs> rather late than never eh? And of course you press R to start a vehicle and when you stop it press R again to put the engine off. If you just climb out without pressing R everyone's going to hear the vehicle idle which is not good. And here's the fun part. Guys I love riding a quad. I've driven every single vehicle in the game. I know police vehicle is fast but this thing is just fun. And the game is going to get sandmasters with an extra seat and if they 
allow you to put guns on top of those sand masters that we can have battles like that it would be absolutely awesome now yes you need to pick up speed with a quad I always go for mountains but yeah you can pause and record the video and see if you see anything that looks familiar okay just look at where I'm driving look at the road look at that big rock that big rock is is your biggest your biggest clue guys and the other clue I'm gonna give you is that this road you will get if you go away from the cinema okay that's the tip I'm giving you if you drive past the cinema and the cinema is on your right hand side you're gonna have to turn left and if you come from Brightmoor side and the cinemas on your left hand side you're gonna have to turn right and then look out for that rock and look at the direction I'm driving while I'm looking for a base now the reason I'm driving everywhere is I'm looking for a flat surface it's really a pain in the ass with the building mechanics at the moment to build a base on a slope so I'm looking for the flattest area possible and of course an area that's got flat and a lot of cover and of course I, I need a rock or two if I want to hide the large crate but yeah I just love stuffing around with this quad I actually love stuffing around with quads in real life as well it's just bad when you flip them they can hurt you quite badly and what would you know a cave a cave that I don't know about what the hell man well you know what they say cross to kill the cat you see my exhaust going and I'm turning it off always turn the vehicle off and yes I always get sidetracked guys that's another thing don't get sidetracked I love the world of miscreated and yes there can be a person in here anything can happen I'm going into the unknown but of course the immersion the immersion always kills me But I'm going to shut up now and just let you guys enjoy what I experienced in here. That is beautiful guys but the the quality of the smoke or you know the vapor is bothering me so to all my subscribers get to this cave and just look for me if your smoke or dust particles look the same because my graphics is set to very low and um, yes like I say immersion is very important so just let me know if you set your graphics on the highest it can go if those dust particles look better because it bothered me a bit with the tornado as well as this but back to sh 
you by mouth shut. Thought he was above me. <laughs> oh shit, and here comes the cavalry. Just like my last video, guys, that wasn't a high jump. But, you have to be careful. Moral of that story, guys, never go into a cave without a, a torch attachment to your rifle. Or with enough ammo. And never assume a brute is above you. It could just be a head. And be careful for dogs, guys. They are easy to kill, but quite fast, just like wolves, okay? So be really careful for them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I love that cave. Um, I couldn't... I got back to the cave, died again, because I wanted to get to my bo body. And then when I went back, the quad was gone. So, yeah, this is the end of the story. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved it. See you guys later. Cheers. Thank you.